the very idea that the highest part of the planet has been impacted by human activity ought to be a real wake-up call for everybody. We're working close to the top of Everest, where no other scientists work. The big goal of this National Geographic project is to collect scientific information about climate change and how much glaciers are changing. Glaciers don't lie. The size they are is a consequence of their environment. The things that are captured in them They're the truth. Climate change is the most important security issue of the 21st century. It's not just a change in temperature. It's a change in precipitation, flooding, storm patterns, air quality, water quality. Places like the Himalayas have experienced changes that are higher than the average global rate. My involvement has been primarily being able to answer a very big question. Is what is going on today something that's part of a natural cycle or not? You do that by getting as long a record as you can and seeing if what's going on today is markedly different than what's happened in the past. We'll be collecting ice cores which capture the past temperature, precipitation, the storm patterns, and biological productivity layer by layer going back through time. Ice cores are the most robust tool that we have for looking at past climate. My role here is collect ice core and snow samples on the way up from Kumbu Glacier across Kumbu Icefall up to the South Coal 8,000 meters if it's possible. We are going to use a drill that you can compare to tube with teeth on the end. The scraping ice when it fills the tube. The bottom part of the drill will collect the ice core itself. The ice core stays in the tube. I don't care how fantastic a climber you are. Without the Sherpas, all of this equipment wouldn't get up to the various camps. We're going to depend heavily on them to get the ice coring. Thank you for all your help. So you guys all personal gears finish? I think yes, yeah. everything is here. Yeah. Ready? Jump, jump. Yeah. It'll be a real stress on everybody at 8,000 meters in South Call. Yeah. Early morning, working, and then same day going to camp too. Okay. That, that is the plan. Look up there. I think so. Thirty percent relative humidity, thirteen meters per second, two seventy. More afternoon, 
negative 27.9, 44%. Relative humidity, 13 meters per second. Looks pretty good. Excellent. Yeah, it sounded like you guys had a bit longer time in the ice fall and obviously getting up to Camp 2 in the heat than we had anticipated when you guys left at 3 a.m. We are at the um, Camp 4, South Co, going 30 minutes from here. There is a beautiful blue ice, and I'd love to drill and compare an age. So you're going up by that rock? Uh, up there, because that's the top and that's the blue ice. We are limited by time, so we try to use all entire time to collect as much as possible. Be careful. We are limited by oxygen and temperature, so I think the maximum we can stay there about two hours, no more. We'll try to go as deep as possible. Okay. Is the highest located ice core? The previous one was just about 7,000 meters. This one is about 8,000 meters above sea level. All my trip is about this. Are we done? Yeah, we are all done. You're happy? Absolutely. I'm extremely happy. We've lived in a dream world for a while. We've assumed that the way we have evolved in the last hundred years is a good way for humans to live. My biggest hope for this expedition is that what we find here will awaken people even more to the importance of climate change.